Assalamu alaikum doctors. Today our topic of discussion is all around the anti-tubercular drugs. So before I proceed to anti-tubercular drugs, I must say what is tuberculosis. So tuberculosis is a chronic infectious disease that is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. But over here we will be more emphasizing on general classification of anti-tubercular anti drugs along with certain important side effects of that particular drug. Now let's talk about the anti-tubercular drugs. So anti-tubercular drugs broadly classified into three major groups that is first line anti-tubercular drugs first line anti-tubercular drugs second line anti-tubercular drugs and third line anti-tubercular drugs so for each classes we are having as particular drugs for the anti-tubercular drug so for that we will be going through certain mnemonics so that you can easily recall it now let's talk about first line anti-tubercular drugs so for that we are having a mnemonic that is ribes so what is the trick for the first line anti-tubercular drugs? That is RIPES, where every single alphabet will indicate the particular drug for the first line anti-tubercular drugs. Like if we talk about the R, R stands for the Rifampicin or Rifampin. R stands for Rifampicin or Rifampin, where I stands for Isoniazid, where P stands for the Pyrazine Amide, Pyrazine amide, where E stands for the ethambutol, where S stands for streptomycin. So students, the drugs that are coming under the category of the first line anti-tubercular drugs, for that we are having a trick that is RIPES, where R stands for rifampicin, where I for the isoniazid, P for pyrazine amide, E for ethambutol and S stand for the streptomycin. So students, it is very important that you have a sound knowledge of certain important side effects for the each drugs that is coming under the class of first line anti-tubercular drugs. So it is usually asked by the examiner that what are the certain uh, side, uh, side effects for the uh, rifampicin. Mostly they ask about the side effects of the isoniazid, pyrazine amide. So you need to know at least one side effect for the particular drugs of the anti-tuberculosis drug, for anti-tubercular drug. Now let's talk about at least one or two important side effects for the each drug. Now if I talk about rifampicin, so what is the main important uh, side effect that you need to know that is that is hepatitis and it may lead to hemolytic anemia so if someone asks you what is the main side effect of the reform pacin, you will your answer will be definitely that is hepatitis and hemolytic anemia. Now let's talk about isoniazid. Isoniazid stand for the main side effect of the isoniazid is that peripheral neuropathy. What is the main side effect of the uh, isoniazid that is peripheral neuropathy where the main side effect for the pyrazine amide that is hepatotoxicity the main side effect for the pyrazine amide that is hepatotoxicity where for the main side effect of the ethambutol that is optic neuritis and what is the main side effect of the streptomycin that is auto toxicity so students the main side effects of the first line anti-tubercular drugs are for the reform person if you talk about reform person the main side effect of the reform person is hepatitis and hemolytic anemia and if i talk about isoniazid the main side effect is peripheral neuropathy where main side effect of the pyrazine amide that is hepatotoxicity if i talk about the main side effects of the ethambutol that is optic neuritis and for the streptomycin the main side effect is autotoxicity so you need to know these side effects for the each particular drug of the first line anti-tubercular drugs so student this is all about the first line anti-tubercular drugs now let's talk about the second line anti-tubercular drugs so for the second line anti-tubercular drugs 
we have another approach that is kept what is the trick to recall the second line anti tubercular drugs that is kept that is kept where every single alphabets will show us one of the drug of the second line anti tubercular drugs like k stand for the kenamycin k stand for the kenamycin e stand for ethionamide p stand for para amino salicylic acid and t stand for the terizadone teri zadon so students the drugs that are coming under the category of second line anti tubercular drugs for that we are having a mnemonic that is kept we are k stand for kenamycin e stand for ethionamide p stand for the para amino salicylic acid where t stand for the terizadon now students if we see the main side effects that is being concerned with the particular drug so for that if i talk about the kenamycin so the main side effect of the kenamycin is that is irritation and skin rashes so the main side effects for the kenamycin that is irritation and skin rashes if i talk about the main side effect for the ethionamide so for the side effects for the ethionamide we have a strange metabolic test and mouth so what is the main side effect for the ethionamide that is strange metabolic test and the mouth where para amino salicylic acid the main side effects for the para amino salicylic acid is cramp and for the terizadone the main side effects are severe depression and several sort of neurological problems are some sort of psychological problems so students the second line anti tubercular drugs and in included the certain drugs for that we are having a mnemonic that is kept where k stand for kenamycin the main side effect for the kenamycin that is irritation and skin rashes and for the ethionamide we have a uh, uh, special we have a important side effect that is that it may lead to strange metabolic test in the mouth where p stand for the para amino salicylic acid it cause cramp where t stand for terizadone and it may lead to severe depression that or it may be associated with certain uh, kind of neurological and psychological and psychological problems so that's all about the second line anti tubercular drug Le now let's switch to the third line anti tubercular drugs so students the drugs that are coming under the category for the third line anti tubercular drugs so for that we have a trick that is that is okra what is the trick to recall the third line anti tubercular drug that is okra where o stand for ofloxacin c stand for ciprofloxacin that is ciprofloxacin and c stand for clarithromycin clarithromycin r stand for rifabutin and a stand for azithromycin so the student the third line anti epileptic drug mostly it includes some some sort of antibiotics in the form of ofloxacin ciprofloxacin clarithromycin rifabutin and azithromycin and the most important uh, side effects that is being associated with certain antibiotics in the form of ofloxacin ciprofloxacin etc the main side effect that is some sort of like uh, we can say that the main side effects that is being associated that is uh, abdominal discomfort so the all uh, antibiotics that is mostly in primarily they are associated with the abdominal discomfort this is the main side effect for the third line anti tubercular drugs so student this is all about the anti tubercular drugs hopefully you will like the video if you like the video make sure to subscribe our channel and share it with your friends thank you